Hi guys, I'm back with another process video. This one is called Let's Go. I made this May 30th of this year and it is my number 343 layout of 100. <laughs> I am using this Laura Whitaker sketch as a starting point, although I don't really think it looks like it in the end and you'll see why. I did originally think I was gonna do it up sideways, so like up going up and down. I hope I made sense. I did use my fingers to kind of show you what kind of direction I wanted to take that layout and it didn't, I don't think it ended up looking like the sketch exactly, but I did use it as a starting point and so it was an inspiration to me to start that way. I have here this uh, tan circles. All of this paper is um, by Amy Tangerine, first of all. So I do end up using these two pieces of paper and uh, I do end up adding several layers these two layers that I'm trying to work with right now don't end up staying in the layout because just the yellow was a little too mm, like a like on a warmer level and the yellow that's on the pattern paper is more like a cooler yellow if that makes any sense at least it makes sense in my head I did mat this photograph of my son um, on this yellow paper I help it I thought it would help with the brightness and I wanted to use several papers of this to layer. And here I decided to kind of go with the tearing technique. And I mean, it does all right. There's nothing really impactful from it, but I do end up, I do end up liking the end result. I wanted to break up some of this tan colored at the bottom to kind of break up the heaviness of the layout. And I wanted to match that bicycle pattern in itself but then I saw that they were together and I didn't like that those two white papers were touching so I did end up doing the same type of uh, tearing technique to this paper here on the bottom as you can see uh, not the most stellar at tearing pattern paper but it does end up working for me so here I'm still trying to use that journaling spot and I'm trying to incorporate this paper clip which doesn't end up making it on the layout. I do end up using this cool uh, die cut word from Dear Lizzie and that circle that's up on the top left hand corner that says Let, let's go. I end up using this made to roam page flag from Pink Paisley's, uh, let me see here. I'm trying to look through my notes. It's called Outfitters. It's the Outfitters collection from Pink Paisley. And I do end up using that. Um, here's where more or less I start getting an idea that because of all the square or straight line elements in my layering, I needed to break it off with something soft or round. And so I do end up using, or I do try and use this circle uh, die with that woohoo cut apart from Amy Tangerine's uh, cut apart sheet. And, but that doesn't end up happening. I did bring in this teal color with washi and I'm really glad I, I did it because usually washi doesn't come easy to me and this was just kind of a no-brainer to incorporate this color because of the the color in the bikes. It's, it, it matches or it kind of goes so I decided to put these in and since um, I was having a hard time um, making like a like a three-point visual in my layout I decided to use the the washi in three areas and I will add it up to the top left corner uh, later on and then that becomes my visual triangle I'm still playing around here with the circled eyes and these cut apart squares and it just it isn't working I feel like maybe it's bringing in too much writing too much handwriting and so I decide to just leave it alone for a minute and go with another thing um, and I do incorporate that camera, this uh, four by six journaling piece, and that ends up making it on the square because I like that it mimics the yellow pattern behind the photograph and also the blue in the bicycles. It's kind of the same color. So here I found these chip chipboard pieces from Amy Tangerine and they're probably from another collection. I really am not sure if it doesn't say. And here I'm using this uh, triangle or uh, like, a, like a zigzag edge punch. 
And I'm adding some of that to these pieces of yellow uh, paper that I found in the remnants. I have like pieces of scratch paper and so I decided to add those and uh, to go along with the washi tape and so those would be my three yellow spots of um in my visual triangle although on the top right hand corner I added it as a circle and that ended up being a scratch piece uh or a leftover piece from another layout that I had done like months months ago maybe last year so here I'm adding foam to this piece of um camera uh, to help it pop out and um, I add a little bit of um, foam to it from some leftover from a leftover foam kit that my kids had used to make a like a Christmas house or something so I just uh, instead of throwing it all away I kept the pieces that I thought I could use to layer and here's another camera on top of another circular piece and I figured that I would bring the craft color that's on the pattern paper, see right there, and put it next to that pattern paper. And so I don't like it, so it goes back up to the top left hand. I added another pattern circle that was left over from that previous layout onto the top left corner. And then I add some yellow chipboard pieces uh, that are in the shape of hearts, and I figured that that would work for the layout. So it, come, it starts coming together real quick or not real quick, but it starts to make more sense in my head or it starts to make more sense to me visually the way that this layout is supposed to look. And so it's a lot easier on the eye for me to distinguish where the three clusters are, where my journaling is gonna go. And then the yeah, cool ends up being like part of my title, but the more visual one is the let's go. So that just ends up being the title for the video. <laughs> uh, I do end up liking the made to roam flag here because I didn't have any other place to put it but I did want to incorporate it and so I decided it would go there. I made a little space for an orange camera here and I put that uh, stamping block with a nail polish bottle to kind of hold it down for the time being. So here I'm forming my top left cluster and um, I just like the look of it. The part I think that you don't see is that I do add some Tim Holtz stickers. I put the word today up, uh, excuse me, I do put the word today up on the top left corner. This is so you on the top right hand corner and I loving this underneath that pink chipboard, uh, chip, pink, pink chipboard heart that's over in my Amy Tangerine uh, chipboard. Did I just make sense there? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. My kids are talking in the other room. So anyway, uh, here I'm just gluing... Uh, or taping with ATG any of the loose corners that I have on my layout and uh, the photograph as well. And I think that's about it to the layout. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry for the confusion in the narration. This was a lot of fun to make. Uh, even though I found out that Amy Tangerine's paper is a little busy for me and so I think it would end up working, dare I say, with some white cardstock for a background. Ah, I know, might be a first. So I think that's it. I'm still trying to glue down stuff that's not completely laid down. I don't want it to fall off in, in me stacking them because I still need to put journaling on this layout. And this was done in May and it's already July, the end of July, and I still haven't done journaling for it. But I've been kind of in a scrappy rut. Not enough. I have stuff to do, but no crafty motivation. So send some mojo my way, you guys, if you want. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Give this uh, video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next process video. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.